Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode we crafted our vault altar here and we placed down our very first vault rock and this is the recipe that we was given and it honestly couldn't be any easier. So yeah this should be very easy but as you can see I have done some improvements to the base so I have expanded our storage area all of these are double chests. The farm area is the same. I've improved the look of the base a little bit here, not too much. I've also done some villager grinding, so we have now a mending villager, which might I add is very, very cheap. We also have a silk touch guy and a sharpness guy, which is why there are so many books in my inventory, because before we could do our first vault run, I need to put on some more enchantments on my gear. So we're gonna do that right away. One thing is for sure though, I will not have enough levels to do all this, but let us start off with the armor first, because I really want to get that back on here. So I'm going to take my armor and I'm going to put mending on all of it because this armor is really good and I do not want this to break. There we go. I will also be putting mending on my elytra because, well, that's a must. And in order to continue, I'm going to need a few more levels, which I'm going to get by trading with more villagers. A talent that I'm really looking forward to getting is the experienced, which passively increases the value of XP orbs by multiplying how much experience a player gains from them. So this would basically mean the more I have of this, the more XP I'm gonna get when I collect experience from mob drops or trading, etc. So yeah, I'm looking forward to be able to get that. So this goes a little bit quicker. I am starting to get a very good collection of emeralds though, which I will be needing in the future. All right, I think it is time to upgrade the diamond sword. So obviously I've got to put mending on this thing. And then I have a sharpness five book right here. And this is going to be interesting. I have this ancient tome, which does plus one sharpness. So this should increase my sharpness level. Obviously this is very expensive, but this should increase my sharpness level to sharpness six, which is obviously really, really cool, but also very, very expensive. I do want to try and get this if I possibly can, but yeah, and as you saw, it's a bit costly. I also have mending and sharpness five and efficiency five for my diamond axe and then the silk touch or sorry, mending on all of my pickaxes. And yes, I did add silk touch to this pickaxe finally, but then after that, all of our tools are ready to go and we can finally do this recipe. Ah, and my anvil of course breaks. Yeah, I thought that could happen. I'm still missing a few more enchantments. Uh, according to my calculations, I'm gonna need like 27 levels. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll get all the enchantments and then I'll be right back and we can do that recipe. Stay tuned. And the final enchantment is now completed. So with that done, we are now ready to do this recipe right here. And I believe I have everything that I need. 12 charcoal, which I roasted up before this, and 35 gravel. I also need, what is it, 19 snow? Oh, it took some. Right. <laughs> well, I have enough. And then last but not least, a single saddle. So all we gotta do is throw the items at the altar, just like this. There we go. And that is also completed. Now, in order to finish, the recipe. We need to get a button. Place it on there. And... Bing! And there we go. We have our very first vault crystal. Now, what we gotta, to, what we gotta do with this crystal is use it in a portal frame. And why do I have chilled? That's weird. Might be able to just use cleanse real quick. No? Okay, I, I don't know why I have this. But anyways, this is our key to a vault. We gotta use this in a portal frame, which we will do in just a moment, and we will get access to a vault. But I am not 100% ready yet. We have these right here, which these two are basically shulker boxes, which I don't think is gonna be enough storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more shulker boxes just in case. Boom. That should do it. Now there's no healing in the vault, so I also need to craft up some potions using these golden apples. So I need my shovel again, believe it or not. And now I need sand. While the glass is now smelting, we need to head into the nether actually and get some blackstone because that is what the portal frame of the vault portal is actually made out of. So here we are again back in the nether. 
Um, and I need Blackstone, and I don't see any. And believe it or not, despite me having survived two seasons of my Nether Survival series here, I don't remember exactly where Blackstone spawns. And also, if you remember Nether Survival, leave a comment down below. Be interesting to see how many watching actually know of that series. Right, I'm gonna find some Blackstone, I'll be right back. I have discovered a Basalt Delta biome, which has exactly what I need. And I'm actually on the hunt for a quartz, as you can probably tell. And I'm trying to get to level 30 because I would really love to get sharpness 6 on my sword for when we head into the vault. Dash can be a very useful ability at times. <laughs> Alright, that was actually a very, very fruitful expedition right there we got a lot out of that we got the blackstone that we needed we also got a bunch of gold blocks which is really really valuable and a bunch of leather quartz which actually honestly i'm just gonna chop right in here now i can set these to become awkward potions then add a golden apple i forgot i actually need glowstone for this which guess what i don't have where is the nearest glowstone Okay, let me rephrase that. Where's the nearest accessible glowstone cluster? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, easy enough. So now I can add my golden apple, then glowstone, and then finally gunpowder to turn it into splash potions. And while that is being brewed, I, I, th I think I'm going to place my portal right here. I think that would work. Nice. I will make that place down there more pretty in the future. There we go, instant splash potion of instant health 2. Perfect. Alright, I should now be able to... Oh yeah. Unbring 3, mending, sharpness 6. That is rough. <laughs> Potions are finished. Alright, my inventory needs to be absolutely optimal for things that I need. One fact about the vaults, if you die in there... um. You lose everything, and you don't complete the vault. So I guess a few facts about the vault. It is timed, so you only have, I believe it is 25 minutes, in order to loot the vault, get the stuff you want, and get out. If the time runs out, you die and lose everything on you. Now these vaults, basically, we step through a portal into a different, I guess, dimension, with a bunch of different rooms containing a bunch of different loot, but also a bunch of different dangers. Each vault can have different modifiers, both good and bad, and we only get to see them when we step through the vault. Um, but I think I am ready. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, one final note about the vaults. The mobs that are inside are a bit different. They're gonna be stronger in terms of health, but also damage, and that will keep going up the more vaults that we conquer. The higher skill level we are, which is here. Let's activate the vault portal. There we go. All right. I think I'm ready, I have cleanse selected as my ability because some chests in there, some of the loot in there might be trapped and uh, poison is an absolute nightmare because we don't have natural regeneration. But here goes nothing. Let's go. We have entered our first vault and interesting, we have no modifiers on this one. Very interesting. All right, so as you can see, we have a timer ticking down and I'm just gonna take it very, very slowly. I'm gonna take it very slowly and very systematically. There's a chest and we're just gonna see what happens here. I'm not going to rush this. I'm gonna take all the loot that I can. Oh boy, hello. Now, I am very new to this and I do not remember what is in what rooms. I didn't take any pillaring blocks. This is a catastrophe. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna go down here. Oh no, which is a very bad... Okay, because they, well, poison, you know. This is a very interesting vault. I'm kind of surprised that there are no modifiers on this one. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of loot either. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a crystal here containing, well, ores. Both vanilla ores, but they might also contain ancient debris and specific vault ores as well. Or, you know, diamonds. And this is a vault 
or right there and even more ancient debris now inventory management here is going to be extremely extremely crucial again i'm gonna take my time with this what i really messed up with was i didn't bring any pillaring blocks which might have cost me Ooh, epic chest very very good starting to feel the stress a little bit here but finally we're getting some loot also, finally, we're getting some mobs. Oh, dear. All right, so I took some damage there, and as you can see, I'm not regenerating my health. Gotta be careful. Inventory management is already starting to become a little bit of a pain. These are really good. Compressed blocks. Very, very valuable. All right, that is the path I came from. Ooh, and an obelisk. I will activate it. So these obelisks, each vault has obelisks, and you can activate them. And if you get enough, you can spawn... The boss but that is if you still have time to deal with the boss with the time you have remaining I think I'm gonna do a thing where I keep going in a straight line in fact I see the next obelisk so I know that just that way is the way back to the room and as you can see you can't use the big map you can use waypoint so I could have set a waypoint at the ooh, the city I know this place is really really good so I could have set a waypoint at my spawn portal at my start portal which might have made my life a little bit easier, but I didn't. I probably should try and only... Ooh, well, skeleton skull. With skeleton skull. I should probably... Ooh, gilded chest. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a poison one. Gilded chest. Those are good. Those are really good. What do we have here? Fire protection, sadness four, and loyalty three. Wow. So yeah, gilded chests are obviously better than normal chests. All right. Uh, I think what I'm going to try and do is head down into the sewers here. Might be a bit risky, but I'm gonna do it because of this very, very valuable chest right here. Alright, good stuff, good stuff, very good stuff. I'm just trying to take as much as I can here. Oh, hello. Alright, we have 15 minutes remaining. No chest in this one, chest here though. Uh oh, uh oh. Slowness. This is a bit of an issue. Okay, I'm gonna pop this. Hmm. Yeah, it's starting to get a little crowded down here. <laughs> lots of and lots of loot though. Cannot be missing out on this. These jade apples gives me haste three for two minutes. They can be handy. Ooh, a very good one. Okay, this loot alone is enough to just go home after this. <laughs> because yeah, this is some very very good stuff which i can't do if i don't want to risk it any further i think i'm all right i would say that i've been given a very easy vault here there's the witch yeah i've definitely been given a very easy vault because this does not have any modifiers it could have gotten crowded for example which complicates things a lot <laughs> this room is definitely one of the better rooms that's for sure the more vaults will do the more, the better I'm obviously going to get at it. I quickly want to check the rooftops to make sure I don't miss anything here. I believe there is loot in the helicopters. Yep, there is indeed. Ooh, good loot. I wonder if there's anything in the airship. This looks like something where something might hide inside. Yes, sir. Not as great as the gilded chest, though, when we've just been down there. All right, I think that is pretty much this room complete ow okay that was an unnecessary uh <laughs> fall damage right there we have 11 minutes remaining i might take some more time to look for ores in this room because it will definitely definitely be worth it if i was brave enough i could find maybe the two other obelisks and spawn in the boss but as this is my very first vault i don't feel like i'm brave enough for, for doing that ah and these statues these might sometimes spawn with challenges you can do right here which will then provide you with loot unfortunately that one did not contain anything for us i don't know if there's like something under this temple inside the temple i feel like that oh there is while i am running a little bit low on time i am taking my time here to quickly take care of the loot that i have in these ones 
because I do not want to waste inventory space. I was panicking at the start, but I've calmed down a little bit, so I have a little bit more room now. These are very useful, these compact blocks, but I don't think I want to be here. This feels like a place I can easily get trapped, so you know what, I'm out. <laughs> Sharpness 6 is so cool. Third obelisk, we would only need one more in order to summon the boss. Very interesting thoughts. I mean, as this doesn't have any modifiers, and my first of all, the difficulty is quite easy, I would consider taking a boss fight. Or I could... Oh, I didn't bring a shovel. I'm an idiot. This room has could potentially have a lot of loot underneath. Hmm. I could summon in the boss. I have seven minutes to fight it. Oh boy. Am I gonna summon a boss <laughs> in my first vault? Uh, dare I do? Oh, hello. I only have diamond armor as well. I do not have good armor protection. I'm scared that if I get a difficult boss that I'm gonna lose everything on me. I have five minutes remaining. I don't have a bow and arrow either. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, this is a oh, that's a lot of chests. I don't think I'm gonna fight a boss in my first vault. I see a lot of loot here, so I think I'm just gonna focus on looting this one. Could fight the boss here as well. Yep. Ooh, Omega chests. That's how you know it's Cal made a pack. <laughs> Ooh, gift of statue. Really good. Vault of cookie. Potion of healing. Definitely. These are some really good books, just saying. Yep, that's just too many chests here for me to pass this up. And once I'm done looting these, I will not have time to face a boss. So, even though it would probably be ideal for me to fight it, I'm not gonna. Three minutes. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm ready to go now. Just in case I mess something up or do something bad, I do not want to risk it. I think I did miss one chest though. Yeah, I did. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I see the exit room. Two, well, less than two minutes remaining. I think we are good. Yep, time to spare. In fact, I didn't even realize we have loot in these trees. Nope, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna call it here. One minute, 20 seconds remaining. Not risking it. First vault run, ladies and gentlemen, completed. Hooey! As you can see, we're almost halfway there to a new skill level. Okay, that was interesting. That was my first ever vault run. And it is time to take a look at all the loot. <laughs> I definitely learned a lot in that run. So let us now take a look. We got a bunch of vanilla ores, including ancient debris. I'm just gonna get that out of the way because it's not that significant, all the vanilla stuff. Potions of instant health, really, really good. There are some of these things that I didn't have to take, but that I took anyway because I was <laughs> a tiny bit stressed at the beginning. We got a lot of diamonds, golden apples as well, two feather. <laughs> Could have probably done without those. Potatoes. I, I I took potatoes. Oh boy. I wasted inventory space on potatoes. It did, however, get four with a skeleton skulls. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everything else is Vault Hunters related. So I'm gonna start from the beginning over here. First we have these Vault Cookies, which these basically give us Vault experience. As you can see. So if I eat another, maybe another, we now have one new skill point. Now those cookies can only be used up until you're level 25. Now we got a few of these statues right here. Now these statues, if we go ahead and place them right here, and these statues will generate a random resource. So this one right here, Jamil the dude, will generate netherrack. And this one, Gisahat, I'm gonna butcher all of these names by the way, metamorphic tiger stone. Very interesting. So that will be put into these chests. Next we have a bunch of different apples which will be very useful for future vault runs. The cobalt apple basically gives me fire immunity and negates any fall damage for two minutes. The hardy apples give me one extra temporary heart which is really useful in the vault. And the Jade Apple gives me haste three for two minutes. That combined with efficiency four, or five for that matter, is um, 
maybe a bit overpowered. And now we have these ores right here, which all of these give different kind of gems related to the vault. And these will be useful for different, different things. So if we go ahead and go over here, for example, as you can see, they're used for different kinds of recipes. So for example, if we want to use refined storage and want to make a speed upgrade, we will need the Alexandrite gem, which is this one right here. So these really need to be fortuned, but I'm going to save them for now as ores. And some of these, by the way, are more rare than others. I'm not sure which ones are which, but yeah. And then we have mystery boxes, which can contain random goodies. So yeah, we're just going to hold on right quick. I have no idea if any of that is good. Let's find out. <laughs> Mystic potato. Okay, so this is a crafting ingredient also from the vault. Basically, we use this to make vault burgers and we eat this to gain zero to three percent of the required experience to the next level. I believe these are really what you use instead of the vault cookies in order to level up. I don't know if you can use these after level 25, but I assume you can. Feather falling four. I need to put that immediately on these boots if I can. Yep. <laughs> Huge. So got sand, gravel, a bunch of other useful things actually. Now these right here, these I don't know what you call them, what you call them. <laughs> we basically insert these guys right here into a vending machine, which I didn't realize was this easy to make. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. Oh. Well, obviously I'm gonna make that one instead. I have plenty of diamonds, so yeah, definitely gonna make an advanced vending machine. So with this I can now right click here to insert, insert these guys in here and they will have different traits. And this, the star core, is what we need in order to make the knowledge star, which is what we can use to get uh, to start researching other mods. So Captain Sparkles here sells us cobalt apples, which can be useful. And Turbo is selling us star cores. Very interesting. So now I have a statue of Captain Sparkles in my base. Oh, and Turbo, because it rotates fun. We also got a few gems of the same type of ore that I just showed you before. So this is the ore and this is the gem right here. Rocket arrows turn your bow into a rocket launcher. Hmm. Those might come in handy. Got some mystery eggs. Contains a random mob, passive mob egg. Not sure what we would use that for, but I'm gonna save it. Magnite can be used to repair vault magnets and a vault magnet is this right here. Sucks dropped items towards a player. So this would be very, very useful to have. We also got star essence, which we use to make star shard, which we then further use to make knowledge star, so really valuable. Catalyst fragments can be used to craft very powerful catalysts, which can modify a vault crystal. So the modifiers that, well, we didn't get in this vault, we can modify those using these catalysts, these right here. But as you can see, yeah, they take a little bit of crafting. So we will definitely be using those later. So Vault Bronze is basically coins. This is what we use in the vending machine here. Relic booster packs could soon to either gain a relic, or a mystery box, or a tiny bit of experience. Sure. If you look at the experience bar, we are actually getting a little bit of Vault experience, which that was cool. These candy bars give me speed five for 30 seconds. That can be useful. And finally, some bread. And that sums up the loot that we got from that specific vault run. Not bad. And as you can see, we are getting stone stuff generated from these guys. Now, eventually these guys don't last forever. They will eventually gray out and well, become not useless, but they will stop generating items. Now we have one unspent skill point, which I have no idea what I want to use it for. For Oh, wait a minute. Experienced. It's also step, stone skin, haste, speed, reach. Increase the player amount of hearts. Hmm. I will say, despite having diamond armor, we didn't really have... We didn't really take too much damage in there. But then again, we didn't get any bad modifiers and it was our very first vault. Speaking of which, what is the recipe for the next vault? 107 basalt. 11 redstone, 30 rotten flesh, and 5 cakes. That should be easy enough. I did learn a lot from this vault run though. One of the things is I don't need to take things like string, rotten flesh, and whatnot, because, well, I could get that easily in the overworld. Plus, it just takes up inventory slots, and I really need to focus on one shulker box at a time, because otherwise I will only fill one half, and then fill another one, and then have a half one without me noticing. So yeah. 
Just like that, we have another vault crystal almost ready. I just need the basalt. We are gonna do another vault run because I want to. If this video is a little bit long, I do apologize. But I just cannot wait for the next episode to do another vault hunt. So, or another vault run. So, that's our next crystal. And I think that this is my inventory ready. I'm gonna place it down. There we go. All right, here goes. We entered a healing vault, plus one, would that mean we won't be needing the instant health potions? This vault gives us regeneration. That's sick. Okay, this time around, I'm gonna see what the difference is. If I set a waypoint here, and I press this button, I can see the home portal, which might help me find my way back. I just want to see what the difference here is from having a waypoint and from not having a waypoint. Now, this is our second vault, so mobs might be a little bit more tougher. Again, I'm only gonna take things that I find valuable this time around. I'm not just gonna clutter my inventory with a bunch of stuff that I may not need. All right, I'm gonna head right here. Uh-oh. Baby zombie, don't like him. Ah, crystal room. Okay, I'm gonna equip Vein Miner for this. Getting a bunch of these ores are definitely worth it. Ah, poison chest. I really want more ancient debris. I'm quite happy so far, we have not gotten any negative well, modifiers. In fact, this time we got a good modifier. Yeah, that should help me be able to come back home. What is this room? I've never seen a room like this one. A spider room. Um, hmm. Our first obelisk. This could be actually a very good vault to fight the boss in. If we can find all the obelisks. Not a statue here, but no thing to take a challenge. More benite gems. 19 minutes remaining. Those sounds are very creepy. I wonder if they mean anything. Now, I should say, if you see me miss stuff or something like that, or have any tips, do let me know down below in the comments, because I am new to running vaults here, and I don't remember all the room's secrets and whatnot, so, yeah. Any help in the comments is appreciated if you, if you spot me do something. <laughs> Whoa! Yay, sharpness 6. <laughs> oh, there are loot in these. Okay. By the way, I'm in the, in the, in the starter room again. Uh-oh. And this is why we have cleanse. Sorry, bees. 14 minutes left on this vault. I definitely feel like I'm not getting as much out of this one as either I could or as the last vault. I think it's because I'm being a little bit more careful, taking it a little bit more easy, taking my time, and also I want to make sure I don't get lost. Ooh, finally, a monster soul. So this is an altar block, and I just need to kill mobs for this one in order to get, I believe, a gilded chest. So all of these mobs that have flames around them go to this monster soul collector. Finally. And we got a rare altar chest. Really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna go down here to see what's up down here. Because I did notice this in the last vault we ran. But I didn't actually go down here. But this looks to be a mineshaft room. Which I assume will have potential treasure for us. It's also a great place to get trapped. Uh-oh. Hmm. I'm saying a thought. I don't think there's anything interesting in there. <laughs> Whoa! I dropped my sword! <gasps> oh, okay. I thought my sword would disappear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. If I could find another altar, or obelisk, sorry, I would be very inclined to taking up a boss battle. Ah, what do we have here? Another altar. Vault time. So if I click this, I sacrifice one minute of my vault time to unlocking that specific ch uh, altar chest. Which... 
I think I'm gonna do. Yep. I would say that that was worth it. One thing I was hoping for more of though, this vault, this time around, was more ancient debris. Five minutes are left, I think I'm gonna head back to the starter room with all those crystals, search around for crystals until the time is almost up. I think that is the best course of action, unless, hmm, five minutes, I probably will not be discovering another altar at this point, so boss fight will have to wait. I will say, I think it is completely fine to place a waypoint because it, while it can guide you, you can still get lost around here with all these twisting turns. I'm sure there's some more to this place specifically. One thing I think I have learned in my second vault run here is to waste way less time on mobs if possible, because they do steal a lot of your time. Time that could be used for looting. Okay, I have one minute left. Really need to get going here. I'm sacrificing my time for a little bit of diamonds, which is incredibly stupid. So, you know what? I'm heading back just to make sure that nothing unexpected happens. All right. Am I ready to bail? I mean, I have one minute. 40 seconds. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> There we go. Second vault run complete and successful. And I can sleep right away. I would have liked to be able to fight the boss in that one, but unfortunately we did not find the, the other altar. The positive thing though is that I keep learning new things for each vault that I run. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that we got. All right, we got a power five book and a looting three. I think this is definitely getting on my diamond sword if I can. And a power five. I Guess I'll be making a bow very soon. We got another statue which generates Scoria stone. That's very good. We got two more vending machine cards here. Each bomb who sells candy bars and Kumara who sells choice flask. I'm not sure what the choice flask are. Choice flask used to remove selected specialization of ability vein miner. So I believe if we go into here, take a look at vein miner, we have these out here, which I can select. And I guess that potion or flask would then enable me to reset this in order to set a new one. So if I chose this, but now I want this, I can use that in order to reset it. Okay, that's useful. I do think I want a proper base for these guys, but for now, I guess this <laughs> will just have to do. We got a misery box and two relic booster packs. We got nothing. And 17 string. We got more apples and gems, more magnite, catalyst fragments, vault cookies. Very good. Of which I will of course be eating now. So now we have two unspent skill points. Can we get a third? No. Unfortunately not. Oh, wait a minute. Got more. Three unspent skill points. Wow. We also have a bunch of healing potions now, which all I need to do is upgrade them to tier two and put gunpowder on them. Star Essence, Catalyst Fragments, Magnite, and more hardy apples. Not too shabby. But there we go. That was two vault runs completed. I will take a look at what the next recipe is. Poisonous potato, ink sack, gold, and sand. Extremely easy. So in the next episode, I think I will want to get a bunch of these vault rocks turned into vault crystals. Maybe like four, five-ish, something like that. Maybe six, maybe even more. I, bas I basically want to get a bunch of them made, turned into vault crystals. Maybe fly around, get some more villagers, and then of course, run more vaults. Now in between episodes, I will be giving a thought to what I should use my three unspent skill points for. If you have any suggestions, please do put them down below in the comments because that will be a great help. There's a lot of these that are very cool. Experienced, well fit, haste, speed, tank, mega jump, ghost walk. Wow. Or I could upgrade some of these as well. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.